Welcome. It's true. I am Connie and I paint with my eyes. Today I wanted to share with you my eye gaze setup and briefly how I use it with Rebel, along with some favorite features in Rebel 5 Pro, and how it helps me as an eye gaze artist with the setup I use. Hardware. I use a Surface Pro 6 with a Tobi 4CI tracker, mounted on a Tobi mount and then attached to my wheelchair with a mount and mover dual arm made by Blue Sky Designs. This mount allows me to utilize the arm movement and strength I do have and maintain some independence. Software. I use Grid 3 for both communication and computer control coupled with Windows built-in basic eye gaze accessibility controls. I will pop up on the screen what these look like on screen. The blue grid you will see either on the left or right is grid 3. I can customize it as needed and I do because the longer I use it the more I learn what I like and what works best for me. You will notice this in the video. The black grid you will see either at the bottom or top of my screen is the built-in Windows controls. I mainly use one button and it is the bullseye looking button because it allows me to click and move it around to hit my target. I don't have to be as precise when hitting a small target like tool choices etc. Especially when my eyes decide to misbehave. Lastly I either work from my wheelchair or from my bed depending on how I am doing on a given day. Well, this is my basic setup. Let's get into this. I slow down my dwell time a lot. I do this so when I engage the drag function it will follow my eyes as long as I need to without stopping. There are multiple ways to engage a function or tool such as blink to click or dwell to click. Dwell just means stare to click and that is what works best for me. Here in real time I am using the watercolor tool drawing in circles to show you how it follows where my eyes go. Now sped up I am showing the pencil tool just to give the idea that you can get as detailed as you want. It is really about practice and learning to control your eyes. I control every aspect of the tools such as size etc using my eyes. Moving on to pastel and starting a basic shape for a portrait with the only difference is instead of my hands holding a pen, my eyes are the pen. Overall Rebel is very compatible with my eye gaze setup, while it's not the only compatible software. It is one of two favorites I have. It comes down to recognizing the tracker and controls without too much compromise if that makes sense and being able to customize Rebel so my screen is not too complicated. Since some recent footage I filmed was garbage let's go back to a portrait I have been working on for a while because it is the best footage to date I have of I gaze painting in action. Enjoy and then we will talk about a couple of my favorite tools and end with printing one of my paintings using Nano Pixel Export.
In particular, I use the palette knife brushes. From the buttery ones to the rougher dryer brushes. They are making a painter out of me day by day. Historically, I used a lot more line and lots of thin washes. My paint is getting thicker. Funny. In traditional media I use water-soluble oils and digitally I do the same. And with the tilt function, I don't have to rotate my canvas I just control where my water runs with that circle in the top right. All of this takes computer power and my Surface Pro has integrated graphics. So I push this machine to its limits. The larger my canvas size the more I push the computer. And I end up with buffering and sometimes a freeze. There is a new function called Nano Pixel Export. It means I can export a painting larger than it is without sacrificing details. I find that 8x10 is a great size to work with where I don't overload my computer but I can print the painting much larger. Here we go. You might have already watched my time lapse of this painting. Practicing personhood. If you haven't I recommend it and I am sure there will be a link in the description or a card or link somewhere in this video. It was published recently on Escape Motion's YouTube channel. This painting was painted at 8x10 and I exported it through Nano Pixel Export at 16x20. I printed it. And here it is and I loved it. I didn't lose my detail. This blew me away. Well I hope you enjoyed this introduction to how I paint with my eyes in Rebel and until next time. Paint much love always.